Hey guys, TechBuzz Network here, and today I'm going to be showing you a fairly common problem that people are having in Windows 8 and in Windows 8.1, um, where they have internet access. As you can see, I have internet access right there, but um, all of their browsers are not working. So, uh, well, uh, um, so Google Chrome here is not working. Internet Explorer. Inter oh. Sorry, Internet Explorer isn't working. So, um, but any other application, basically, so like Skype, for example, will work. So, as you can see, my Skype is online. It's like it's a really simple fix, and I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So, what you want to do is you want to go to your Start menu, and just type, just begin typing C M D. Um, and then it brings up command prompt. Now you're going to want to right click on that and say run as administrator. And then click yes to approve. And this will come up. It should say C or whatever disk you have installed Windows on, then syst um, Windows System32. And now I'm going to have these commands in the description. Um, but what you can basically do is you can just copy them. Right click copy. And then go right click paste and press enter. Now it should say successfully reset the Winsock catalog and it say, must, says you must restart the computer in order to complete but we're going to do this one first and then restart because you need to restart for both of them. So let's just copy that as well and hit enter and it should say for the last two resetting failed access is denied. We don't need to worry about that we just need to make sure that everything here says OK OK so resetting should be OK and it says restart the computer. So I just want to tell you command 1 resets Windows WinSock entries and command 2 resets Windows TCP IP stack. You don't really need to worry about that. But so now we need to restart Windows. So I'm going to restart my PC and I'm going to be right back. Hey guys, I am back and I'm going to go into Google Chrome and see if it works now. Hey, so it did work, okay? Um, if you, if this did work for you guys, thanks so much for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you need any extra help, you can just um, comment in the section below, and I will be glad to help you guys. But um, if you will, if you, if this did not work for you, I, there is another fix. So um, all you have to do, if you're on Windows 8.1, I think it's just for 8.1, I'm not sure if it's for 8, you can go to the bottom left, right click and click on Network Connections. Um, then from Network Connections, you just click, I have two, but you just click on the one you're using for internet, right click and click Properties. Um, but if, if you're not on Windows, um, if you're not on Windows 8.1 or 8, I'm not sure, then you just go into this um, internet access um, button in the bottom right hand corner, right click on it and click open network and sharing center. And then you should see connections and you can just click on that and then click properties and that'll bring you to exactly the same place as where we were before. Um, so now what you've got to do from here is just scroll down and go to um, IP version 4 and just click on properties and now for you guys you'll most probably have it checked on here and it's using the preferred DNS server if you have chosen if you have entered another DNS server in there just double check that that DNS server is online and working because if it is not online then you won't be able to use browsers and things like that that need to convert um, codes like google.com to an IP address but you will be able to use things like Skype and I think Steam um, that do, need, do not need to convert um, web addresses to IP addresses so all you gotta do to fix that is either find another DNS server or just click on obtain DNS server address automatically and then that should fix up your problem right away so yeah, thanks guys so much for watching. Um, if it did help you, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And as I said earlier on, if you need more help, just uh, write down something in the comment section below, and I'll be glad to help you guys. So yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.